English literature. What has happened to Lulu? Page number 19. Form 1. Firstly, let's have a look on learning objectives. So, when it comes to learning objectives, to identify and define words that students do not know, which means difficult words. Read the poem out loud with students and to discuss the poem and also to familiarize students with vocabulary. And if you consider on learning up, uh, outcomes to improve oral reading skills and to help students to improve their oral reading skills by familiarizing with the poetry and students use the books for that. Alright, now let's see why pre-reading is really important. It increases communi communication skills, it uh, uh, increases cognitive abilities and also in order to uh, increase the attention span. Alright, when it comes to Charles Cosley, he is the one who has written this poem. So let's have a look on Charles Cosley first. Alright, so Charles Cosley is known as one of the famous poets and he's known to be a schoolmaster and a writer and his work noted for its simplicity and directness. And also at the same time it says that 1958 Cosley was made a fellow of the Royal Society of Literature and he was awarded as the CBE award in 1986 and apart from that uh, there are other awards that Charles Cosley have won such as uh, he has won the Queen's Gordon Medal for poetry in 1967 and also he was presented with the Hollywood Hill Literary Prize in 2000 and also it says that between 1962 to 1966 he was made as one of the members of Poetry Panel of Art Council of Great Britain. Alright, let's have a look on this poem which is called as What Has Happened to Lulu by Charles Cosley. What has happened to Lulu, mother? What has happened to Lulu? There is nothing in her bed by an old rag doll and by its side a shoe. Why is her window white, mother, the curtain flat and free, and only a circle on the dusty shelf where her money box used to be? Why do you turn your head, mother, and why do teardrops fall, and why you crumple that knot on the fire, and it says nothing at all? I walk to voices at the last late night, I heard an engine roar. Why do you tell me things that things I heard were a dream and nothing more? I heard somebody cry, mother, in anger or in pain. But now I ask you why, mother, you say it was gust of rain. And why do you wonder about as though you don't know what to do? What has happened to you, mother? What has happened to you? have a look on the meaning of the sentences by set of sentences to sentence. So if you take a look at on the first set of sentences, it says that it, it, the, the uh, person questions about the sudden disappearance of this particular girl because it says about a red tone, alright? And then in the second set of sentences, it talks about why the door, uh, why the curtains are wide open and why are they flapping free? And also, uh, when it comes to this persona, which is the person, he or she refers to a money box that uh, this specific uh, girl has left and gone on the shelf. Alright, if we focus on sentence 3, basically it talks about 
the fact that mother is hiding her tears and a note that he, that the mother is crumpling in in her hands and the person most probably thinks that it is from Lulu and, uh, and also there is a scene where mother has thrown that uh, note uh, into the fire all right and in sentence of four it says that person tells that the specific person says that he or she heard a noise late last night and an engine roared and the mother she is trying to come up with a story saying that no it was a dream darling that you saw it's nothing real at all Moving on, if we take a look at the sentence of five, the persona insists that she heard someone cry in anger or in pain. The mother says it was just a gust of rain. And sentence six says that, puzzled about the mother's distraught behavior, the narrator wants to know why the mother is pacing about, uncertain what to do. The use of Lu is an affectionate shortened form, form of Lulu. Alright, if we consider on subject matter, uh, in this poem, it mainly talks about this rebellious girl who has run away from her family and uh, and her sibling, one of siblings is questioning why, what has happened to her or his sister. Alright, and that's why the mother is trying to come up with lies and that's why the mother is trying to cover the entire circumstance that they both are in and uh, the mother is trying to say that it was just a dream that he saw all right all right let's have a look on form and the structure so basically this poem has written in a ballad form and also when it comes to this the way it has written verse four lying sentences were the second and the fourth line raps all right and then at the same time it says that the first person is a dramatic monologue that is addressed to the mother of the narrator all right and also there is a puzzlement where they question about what has happened to his sister and then at the same time, there is this child's innocence that it emphasizes among the poem itself. Right. Now let's have a look on this specific uh, poem in more in depth. Now when it comes to this poem, it mainly talks about grief and love where mother is really scared of that uh, that her child will get into troubles because of the fact that this child has no idea what is happening around the world. And also it mainly talks about the loss of child where she feels sad about the fact that her child ran away from themselves. And also like this mother is really afraid that how she is going to face without uh, circumstances that she have to face with and the problems and then the certain kind of outer gestures and all. Alright, now let's have a look on the setting which is uh, catered when it comes to this entire set of uh, poem. So basically it talks about Lulu's room and the fireplace. 
and also when we focus on the word called money box it is known to be a typical british word that means this uh, entire incident might have happened around in the uk or england and also if you talk about the time phrase it has happened in the past and also when it comes to themes there are two uh, major points that we can focus on which is the end of childhood and the loss of innocence and the parent child relationship now if we take a look at on the end of childhood and the loss of innocence which it means that she has left her childhood behind and lulu is probably a young teenage where she wants to break out the cage and wants to set free when it comes to her life and also at the at the same time if we consider on the parent child relationship uh, we can say that the lulu and lulu's and mother's relationship was big tense and strained one and lulu is probably a rebellious teenager and also apart from that the narrator which means uh, lulu's uh, brother is a really uh, obedient and respectful respectful person respectful to her towards to his mother and also it says that the narrator which means the brother loves her mother very much and uh, she, uh, he feels really disturbed by looking at her uh, sadness and the sorrow that she has with herself what does it mean by grief and that so grief means the feeling that you feel when you lose someone so the mother is grieving over the loss of her child which is lulu and also the mother feel shows that mother clearly loves lulu and also the narrator the brother has put her sister name as lulu and also uh the narrator worried about the sudden disappearance of the elder sister all right so here i have mentioned the meaning of grief which is intense sorrow and especially caused by someone's death or it could be someone's loss thank you for tuning in have a nice day